Hello, my name is Derek. I'm the Derek Nervous Cross Talk Show. Here at the Seven Mile Bluegrass Festival, here with Backup Bush, like the name of the instrumental, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seth, good to see you. Nice to see you, Evan. And what's your name? Randy Pollard. Hey, Randy. Nice to meet you. And how do you say your last name, Seth? Carkey. Carkey. Who's your members in the band? So, it's uh, I play guitar and sing, and uh, Randy plays fiddle and sings. Um, and plays guitar, too? Plays guitar, too, yeah. Um, he featured a lot on guitar on the first set today, and... We really love getting him up here for that. And then we have J.M. Toll on the banjo, Scotty Adams on the mandolin, uh, Jake and Irwin plays the bass, and Chandler Toll also plays guitar and plays mandolin as well. He does a lot of singing. Yeah. So we'll, we're going to feature uh, Jake in the next set uh, on, a, on a number that's going to blow people's hair back. And we're saving him till late, so he, he does a fine job. I got them young boys in there, and they, they get it done. I can't wait to hear Oh, it's good. Jake's my grandson. Yeah. So. I'm pretty proud of him. You ought to be. That's a good job. Yeah. Well, you guys like it here at the Seven Mile Bluegrass Festival. This is your guys' third time here? Yeah, it's our third year here. Uh, we were um, we came the first festival and the, and the second, third, obviously. And as a sponsor, I, I own a business and I've sponsored this, this festival and helped help Billy and the boys out because we, we got to keep bluegrass alive here in Southern Ohio. So yeah, it's important. And I was uh, given this award for uh, continual sponsorship for my company. I truly appreciate that from... Uh, from the guys from Seven Mile, and it, it makes makes it special when, when they appreciate everything. What you was do. your reaction when you got that award? On stage? I, I didn't know. Billy thought he calls me every other day anyway, so he said, "Hey, I got you something." And I thought he was gonna give me a guitar pick or <laughs> something like that. Or, and then well, I'm getting ready to walk off stage, and he says, "Hang on," and he gets up here on stage with me and, and gets the crowd going. And, Gives me this award, and I, and I appreciate it. And congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. And what time are you guys are performing tonight? We'll be back on stage at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yep. And what type? Of, I know. You, I know. I asked you before, yeah. but what type of guitar do you play? I'm playing a Martin. It's a '78 Martin. It's the birth year for me. So HD twenty. HD twenty-eight. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's the way to go. So. And what type of wood is it? I don't know. Good one, I guess. <laughs> it's it's spruce one. and rosewood and whatnot. I don't know. Rose. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great one. I've had it for, for a number of years, and I remember playing it when I was a kid, blowing somebody else, and I was fortunate enough to get it down the road and, uh, and play it on stage these days. So. Uh, how did you guys start playing the guitar? So? My mother is uh, has been a bluegrass musician for 45, 46 years, and uh, my, my uncles and my whole family all play, so I was kind of you know wrapped into it. Randy's actually played with them on stage years ago, um, and, and we've been around... Uh, for a number time. of years, it's been a long time ago. Right. So that's that. I've been coming to bluegrass festivals since I was in diapers. So it just comes natural to me. And how did you guys start playing the fiddle? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I played banjo for about 45 years, probably, and, and I started having some hand problems. And uh, I always fool with the fiddle some, but then I got to where I took it pretty serious, you know. Things. So I can't really play the banjo anymore. So I play guitar and play fiddle. Try to make the boys sound the best I can. <laughs> and we're gonna talk to Bill and Target play. Mine's uh, I got a D35 Martin, it's one of the Amber tones. Fiddle, there's not really a brand name. It's my fiddle is a copy of an Amati. And what really matters about a fiddle is the maker. Understand what I'm saying? The guy's name, whether it be Antonio Stradivarius or Nicholas Amati, or it goes by the the name. Well, by the it's name. not really a brand. You know, yeah. Oh yeah, by the name. Fiddle's an interesting instrument. Really. Yeah, it is. And you guys have a Facebook page and everything? Yeah, back up and push. We're on Facebook. And uh, we'll have pictures from this show on there. And uh, we have some videos. And we got our t-shirts are available now. So um, we, can, we can get some t-shirts out. I had them pick them up from the press this morning. So <laughs> yeah, and, and then guys, we'll be in the studio this winter. I can't wait to hear yeah. you guys' album when they come out. We'll get you an album. We'll send it to you. That way you can play it on your talk show. Thank you. And um, and what's your guys' website? Uh, we we just go through Facebook, just social media. We don't have a website pulled up for that. Well, so, yeah, we you get you need us. You can go through Facebook and, and find us, and it directs you to all of our links and everything. So. Thank you so much, Seth. And, thank you, Evan. Thank and you. Welcome. Congratulations on your oh, award. Oh, thank you. Look, Appreciate show it to on the screen one more time. And um, what's your name again? Randy Pollard. Hey, Randy. Nice. Nice to meet you, you too. Yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I'm Evan Garrison from the Ember Frost Talk Show. I have a Summer Blue Ghost Festival. Take care. Have a nice day. That's all.